it's that time of year again. That time of day in the year again. It's the Love Lab Festival. We're so excited for it today. They moved it to Salt Lake City. It's at Recycle Stadium this year. It's a little bit bigger of a venue. More entrances to get in. Oh, why didn't we ride one of those? But it's gonna be so fun, I'm excited for it. They, they're, it's starting at 3 p.m. today. So, it's supposed to be 97 <laughs> degrees. It's a little hot. Last year they started at six, and I don't remember, don't know if you guys remember the picture that we posted, but we were, some, we were glistening. So this is 3 p.m. It's, it's a little hot, but it's gonna be fun. It's, I'm excited for it this year. It seems like there's gonna be a lot of awesome people at this one this year that they brought in. At least I'm guessing. I saw some people posting that they were in Salt Lake last night, so I'm guessing this is where they're gonna be. But I also don't know, but I think so. But are you tweeting? I'm tweeting, yeah. What's you tweeting? Just asking if anybody's coming. I hope so. I hope we see some of you guys here. I'm, I want to see some of you guys. We met one person at the one last year. Mm -hmm. But. Oh, I'm <laughs> Because we Doing already sweaty. We are sweaty. to be in Salt Lake right now for Love Loud. 100% of the proceeds from today go to LGBTQ charities. Yes. Last year, this event raised a couple thousand dollars, which is great. This year, we are raising over a million dollars for LGBTQ youth. Suicide is the number two cause of death in people between 11 and 24. Gay, lesbian, and bisexual people are six times more likely to commit suicide than their straight counterparts. Transgender youth are 40% risk of committing or attempting to commit suicide. We need to change this! We need to show love! These numbers are so high because it's scary in the closet. It's isolating. We need to show people that we love them, we embrace them. You guys aren't alone in the closet. A lot of people have been through the same struggle, a lot of people are going through the same struggle, and at the Trevor Project, there is always someone to talk to. And welcome to stage, Zen! silver lining I'm upset the silver lining was that it, at least it hit your windshield I mean windshields are expensive to replace but at least it didn't hit your hood and take a big old chunk out of the paint and now we're gonna sit in traffic it's 7 44 p.m. CC deserves better than this do I look like a crazy person because Jess was testing stuff on my eyebrows listen her her light left 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 this one Yes, looks good. She did like a way too dark color on the other one. Yeah. But anyway, we had to fit. Well, we had to figure out your color, and I just please chose mourn to with me. Oh, the windshield. We got to get it fixed because that's gonna spider for yeah. sure. I got when I first had my masa. It was. It might have even been the first year that I had it. I got a rock chip because they regraveled everything in my hometown for some reason, and so flipped one chip my windshield and it was the time of year when it was 
hot in the day and cold in the night so in the early what? morning. Yeah. So one day I walked out and it had spread all the way across my windshield. So if I can get this one filled and not have to replace the whole thing, wonderful. Because you can already see the spider out. But it hit so hard. Mm, it was big rock too, I saw it. So hard. It was like so loud. And then I said so many profanities. <laughs> I'm really mad, but whatever, it's fine. And now we're not gonna move. And there was a big wreck on this side, so we're not gonna. I think it's cleaned now up. We're though. not gonna move, but it looks cleaned up. Gives us an opportunity to film and talk about Love Loud. Love Loud, which we just did the other day. Mm -hmm. We recorded little snippets. I don't know how much we actually recorded. Can't, well, and we can't post a whole lot because it will copyright. get copyright. Yeah, but we'll give you a little taste. Because it's, for anybody that hasn't heard what Love Loud is, Dan Reynolds, who's the lead singer of the band Imagine Dragons, is from Utah. He's a god of Grew men. up in Utah, right? Vegas. Vegas, really? I thought he lived in Utah. He went to BYU. Anyway. He's from Vegas. Has connections with Utah. He was raised Mormon in a Mormon family. And is like the biggest ally for the LGBT Q plus community. So he last year started this music festival called Love Loud. And last year it was in Orem. And this year it was in Salt Lake. And it was even bigger. And it's so amazing. Oh, they raised over a million dollars for LGBTQ plus charities like the Trevor Project. And Circle. And Circle. Tegan and Sarah. Yeah, just a bunch of different ones. Yeah. Tegan really was cool. there. Tegan was there. She talked a little bit. There was a lot of people that talked. Steve Young talked. CEO of Apple talked. Yeah, that was cool. Really cool, yeah. It was just a really great experience and it was really great last year too. That throughout the night, I mean, you don't leave without crying, but like I told Mark Kelly, I said, they say hi. And I just like, my eyes just well up with tears because it's just, it's so powerful. I don't even know how to explain it. It's you just- just get off the exit yeah. and go shop. Like, I don't even know how to explain it other than like just the power that is felt and uh, you'll never experience a concert or a festival quite like the Love Loud where it's just moving and inspirational and just full of love. It's, it's a great, 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 great. Last year, we were sitting on the grass because they had it at the university that we went to actually, Utah Valley, at the ballpark. And we were sitting in the grass and at one point, yikes, that was bad. At one point, I literally had my head in my hands sobbing. Are we going to Shills? Sure. Okay. I just didn't want to sit in traffic, so if we go somewhere, it might be better. But. Yeah, I sobbed all the way through like one or two songs. I was sobbing. And this year I only cried like one or two tears. <laughs> so I'm getting better. I'm getting to a better place. And then and we melted. It was hot. The it's whole time. Started at 3 p.m. But it was still good. Yeah. And I highly recommend it next year and every year after that. If yeah. you guys would ever want to come to Utah and celebrate love. Here, bring it to me. Here. Bring me the cucumber. Here, come here. No. no. Bring it to me. It. Here. It's for you. Take it to mom. Here, let's see. Come here. Take it to Come here. Let's see. You got the cucumber? You like cucumbers? Oh, is that the yummy cucumber? Go take you it to mom. It? I don't know if cucumbers are good for dogs. I can't imagine they're bad. They're mostly water. Remember how I told you that I didn't know if we had rice? We had only have two. So we bought one. And apparently the last time we bought it, I didn't know. And the time before that, I didn't know. All unopened, dude. Does it go bad, though? That one's still good. And that one's still good. And if you guys were wondering... I make everything with that. I googled if dogs can have cucumbers. Your dog can have a healthy snack of carrot sticks, green beans, cucumber slices, or zucchini slices. There you go. You can have your cucumber. You bit it. He did bite it. it. Can, there's like no stem. Okay. Fine. There you go. That can be your cucumber. Yum. 
We just did a big grocery haul. Or grocery buying. Yes, we did. Because we have had no food in this apartment since I think we got back from camping. Since we got back from camping. Babe. Yeah. Do you want to tell them the exciting news? The exciting news is that we are serving. We are flying. We're going to New York and Texas, apparently. Yeah. So in September, we decided kind of a spur of the moment, like little deal. Tickets were cheap, and we just were like, let's do it. I wouldn't say they were cheap. Well, they, they were, were cheaper. They were a decent deal. Do I need to freeze? So we were, Keep frozen. So we were, it kind of was just a spur of the moment. So she knew that the Yankees are playing Red Sox during that, they're having their series in New York at the time. I am a Red Sox fan. She is a Yankees fan. So we were like, let's go to New York. Let's go to one of their games at least. and. Yeah, so we're going to New York in September and we're excited. Never, I would, been. never been to New York. Never, never been, been to New York. A professional baseball game, much less the Yankees, so. Alright. So it should be it should be a good time. I asked on Twitter, but maybe some of you guys don't have Twitter. Like what are some some do's? Like definite do's to do. Do's, do's. do's to do in in um says Saint George. Yeah, it was. Jess is getting, she's going out on the limb and she bought tofu. It's never something that I would think that you wanted. I'm trying to figure out different things that I like because red meats, I, I need to figure out what's going on with my stomach, but red meats really hurt, really hurt my belly. I get really bad stomach aches after I eat like red meats, so I'm trying a few different things. But anyways, what are some do's to do in, in um, New York? Or some do's to do's, do's and to do's, do's to don'ts. And do's to don'ts. I definitely want to fit, obviously visit the 9-11 memorial. Holy, we have eggs too. That's dangerous. It's because I'm going to I'm gonna oh, boil yeah. an entire curtain. An entire what? Curtain. Taste curtain. So I definitely want to visit the 9-11 memorial. That's like a big... I, and I also want to find if there's a Nike store in New York. Babe. I want to go to the Nike store that's in New York. I think one day, so we'll have one day that's shopping, one day that's sightseeing, and then the game. And then I think yeah, we're, we're there for five days, I think. But what's going to be rough is that we have a red-eye flight Saturday, get there Sunday, so we're going to be... Did through. I tell you what my sister told me? No. So my sister and her um, husband, they had, they went to New York a while ago and they took a red eye and I thought like red eye that's a smart thing to do and I told my sister that because they and she's You're like I hate it I'm gonna be fine she's You're gonna hate it why I work grapes true but but um she said I told us telling her that I was taking a great that we were taking the red eye and she's like that she pretty much said we were dum-dums because she's like the whole next day you're just like toast Nah, we'll be fine. I was like, and I said, I'm like, I think you forget about the lifestyle that I lead, <laughs> or the life that I lead, because I wear graveyards. Granted, that's the first week that I go back to days. Of course. So. But like, I usually don't get that much sleep either, so I think we'll be fine. No, it'll be good. Oh my goodness! I think I might Is take. Is that good? I think I might take the rest away. I don't want you to get belly ache. He's happy. Is that so yummy? Oh. And then we are actually going to Texas too with my my sisters and my mom as a little girls trip. They want to go to Texas and visit the Magnolia Farms in Waco. That's like the I guess that's the I probably gonna get crucified for this because people probably really like it's the Joanna Gaines and Chip Gaines I think is who it is on HGTV. Fixer Upper? Is that their show? I, I don't watch it. Take them out of a crowd, so I think you're right. I think that's who it is that's Magnolia Farms. I've heard it's really fun. I've heard it's like exciting. Okay, okay. ASMR. ASMR. Don't you dare eat that one. Hey, hey, hey. Drop it. Drop it. 
Oh, <laughs> that was a very good okay. boy. Here, I I can hold that. No, just just eat, eat eat that end off. Eat that end off. No, he's good. You done? Okay, let me grab this piece too. That's a good boy. So today too, before we went out and did some grocery shopping and stuff, we stopped by our little UPS box. We had a couple letters from you guys. Yeah, yeah. And we were so excited to have those and to read them. So we'll read those soon and I'm not sure how we're gonna do mail time yet because I obviously like letters are personal and if you wanted to be more private, obviously I wanna keep it that way, so yeah. And like I said before, if you guys don't want them read on camera or if you don't want, like, just, uh. just put in them that you don't want it. I think that, like, maybe, like, if people have questions in the letter, we can maybe go over questions as a general answer. She just bought fish oil. Fish oil, or omega-3. Those, they're always big. Always. I know, but those are really big. How big are they? Oh, that's about the size that they typically are. Mm. And you're gonna have fishy burps. No, I got the orange ones. I don't think orange that matters. Burps. They always have the fishy burps. Don't say that. They always have the fishy burps. I've got some vitamins today. Let's see if I can help my have a disease called ankylosing spondylitis, and that's not made up. Dan Reynolds actually has it too. He's come out and said that he's had that and he's going, he's doing a bunch of things to, as you can, I don't know if you guys follow him, but he got really ripped out of his mind. But that was a big like help for him was changing his diet, exercise and stuff. And he's been. So I looked up some vitamins that might help. I'm gonna give that a go. So she has, like she said, it's ankylosing spondylitis. I'm gonna do my best. It's an autoimmune dis disease that it affects like your joints, inflammation of the joints. Sometimes your joints or your kind of fuse, don't they? They can. Yeah, basically, in most cases, eventually, your vertebrae fuse together, and so if it's like extensive and gets severe, your whole vertebrae, instead of having motion, it's gonna be fused together. Right. So it's just like a one huge bone. Right. So you can't like twist or bend or a lot of things that's why we so. need to keep you active and exercise and it doesn't also it also doesn't help that she has scoliosis yeah scoliosis so then if like my whole spine fused together it's also crooked yeah right so you're gonna be you're gonna walk in circles because you're gonna be leaning to one side well just so yeah i'm just it's frustrating but you just try to do your best. So we'll see if this helps. I'm gonna just start being like very conscious of my choices. I'm not young anymore. But I hope it doesn't seem like I'm like complaining. I don't think you are. Obviously I'm like, I'm up, I'm walking, I'm, you know, there's so many more things that are way more awful. Hopefully I'm not well, sounding like a whiner. And here's my thought process for this, okay? Just hear me out. Like, I don't think she's complaining at all, but it's not a very common or well-known disease. Well, um, it's a silent disease. Yeah. Like, if you look at me, you don't know right. what's going on. But what was cool is, because I'm the one that, I was watching a video and I heard Dan Reynolds say that he had it. And I told you. And I was like, holy cow, so like, We've talked about it before and there was a lot of comments that said like they had something similar or they had that. So maybe like if you find something that works or helps, maybe it can help them with you too. I've seen in the comments before too. I can't remember what video I talked about it in. But there were people that were like, I'm so sorry you have that. I have it too. This is the only thing that's helped me or I, I know the pain. You know, there were certain people that were just, yeah commenting too so it's nice to see you when it's all like, people have help it. me help you help me 